its own lodge. And when this lake was up a little bit higher, there's still a little bit of water down there. I noticed another bank den. But uh, there's a chance that uh, maybe an otter or a coon or something will be still using back in here. But it's a long way to that main lake out there. There's a couple little connector ditches that still have water. I'm seeing a lot of coon tracks. But this thing has really grown up. We had that drought two years ago and it's, it's gotten real thick back in here now that they've grown this lake down. Create a lot of good habitat for rabbits. Should be a lot of coyote and uh, gray fox, maybe bobcat back in here. But we'll continue on scouting. There's so many logs out here and roots. When you got, I got several snares out up and down this ditch. And everything looks like an otter or a beaver. <laughs> every root, every log from a distance, you thinking you got a catch. And I ran my whole circuit right down to the last uh, snare here. And I, I couldn't see I had anything from the other side of this creek. But when I looped around, uh, it looked like something had pulled the snare loose. So we're going to go down here and see what we got. A small coon here he tied off on these roots right here and he it's, it looked like a pullout where these beavers been coming up getting that grass going back packing their lodges but I'm going to get this coon out of here he's tied up he's tangled up in these roots pretty bad walk across that log right there from that other side. Last year this this was down to just about ankle deep water and now this dish is completely filled up but what I noticed over here when I crossed this log there's a lot of otter sign right down through here so there's some otter back here for sure. I saw some droppings on the other side of this log and all on this ground is some this is kind of old right here but it's obviously Otter droppings right here, so beaver and otter for sure. And uh, I'm sure there's some coon and coyote back in here. We're gonna walk around to this other dam and see if they're crossing over it now.
was sitting over here. I came down this steep hill. Sitting here thinking this would be a good place to catfish. And uh, this water's coming way up on this lake. I looked over here on the bank and there was a beaver sitting out here wide open. He probably wasn't 15, 20 yards from it. He jumped off in the water here and started swimming back towards this buck brush. He may be trying to set up at the back of this cove out here. He was just sitting up on this bank. Twenty hours can make a big difference. It's uh, had a steady rain all night, so this thing was about a quarter way up on this uh, culvert yesterday when I was here, probably around noon, and now it's almost to the top of it. So there's a lot of water going to come through here. I'm just making note of this for future reference for myself. But. Uh, Ice kept me out of here when I could have probably trapped in here and done some good, but now uh, once that, that ice got out of here and snow, we had uh, a lot of rain, so all this is filled up, and now the high water is keeping me out of here, so <laughs> I'm used to it. I've been doing this for many years now, so it's all part of the, all part of it. You gotta be able to roll with the punches. And uh, there'll be more for next year. Over and out. Oh, pick it up pretty good now. This field looks good though. I should be able to come in here and put some uh, coyote sets in uh, along the edge of this pine ridge right here. I think I can put in some cubbies uh, for some bobcat. But I'm getting close to getting out of here now. This looks like it's going to get pretty bad. I'll just show what I, see what I'm looking at coming off of this ridge. got the woods to myself, not surprisingly, but we got to wait on this weather and see what we can come up with. Over now.
seems like it's sticking on the ground pretty good. I'll have to find out if it's going to how these streets are going to take it. main part of the pond right here is a nice uh, dam off to my right over here and these little small ditches come back through this buck brush and there's all kind of little peel sticks they obviously like it back in here because I mean they're cutting all over the place but I got three more snares with me I'm going to go ahead and, and make those uh, put those snares in and then go back and get some more equipment just looks pretty good back here I think we need to set up on this I just pulled in. Uh, we had a lot of ice for the past week or so, and uh, I bet this water's come up down here. But uh, we're gonna go check check out the place I scouted last week. We're pulling in right now. Get my boots on and uh, go out here and check and see what's happening. These beavers probably been cutting in here pretty good. I would imagine this water has come up some too. Over and out. Got a little more water back here than the last time. We got some running water coming over this dam. But, uh, a lot of snow has melted and uh, we're starting to get into some. Uh, some rainy days, so all this is backing up. I'm gonna have to go look around and uh, see where I can start throwing in a few snares. <laughs> 